How's it going? I'm Aaron Hallett. I write original Christian rock. If you're new to the channel, I'm just going to write a song. It's afternoon. I just got done writing stock music, which is what I normally do for like the main gig and whatnot. It's like royalty free stuff. But anyway, this, like I said, is original Christian rock. I come up with stuff. I put it together and I turn on the camera while I'm doing it so you can see how I, you know, put a song together and just kind of like go along or going along the lines of it's not something you need to overthink and just, you know, start writing. I uh, don't really know what I want to do today. I was messing around with just doing, like, something in E minor and, like, making a riff based off just, like, the notes in the E minor chord, so E, G, and B. Um, and then I'll, like, do chords around that. I, I don't know what rhythm I want to do, per se, but something like... Something like that. It's just going to be like kind of like a bouncy rhythm type thing. Um, lately, I've been doing an intro chorus. I think I'm going to do that again. It's like a half chorus. And then I do first chorus repeat three times. I'll do a left and a right guitar. Then I'll do overdubs probably. You know, I'll get back to you. I have no idea. I just improvise this. <laughs> so here I go. Left and right guitar. Left and right are done. Right side was a little sloppy, but I don't care. <laughs> Overdubs, I think I'm going to just do octaves in the chorus, especially on the left side. I don't know. I might change my mind when I get to the right side. I tend to do that. I just start playing random stuff, but I'll reinforce that riff. And then the other thing I'll do is probably just like stuff like that. I don't know. In the verse. Here I go. I'm now going to do an improvised guitar solo in the third verse. Bass guitar is up next. I'm going to do drums, so I deleted the loop, got the metronome on, and I'm going to sit down at the kit behind me and start playing. I put down some lyrics, and I have a melody. I was just warming up, so I recorded my warm-ups just to keep as a memory aid, because I tend to need that. Actually, I tend to need that if I delete it, if I don't delete it. I got it. <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, I'm just going to hit record and go for this. So, yeah. That's the chase on the road. It always seems so far away. Not too sure how consistent those chorus parts were. I just kind of yelled stuff. So, I think it's cool, though. Uh, the lyrics, they'll be in the description box if you want to check those out. They're at the bottom. In the middle of the description box, I have a bunch of places where you can purchase and stream my music. And it's just a big list. iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. If you use any one of those services, just go to it. Type my name in the search bar. You should find me. Type the same name as the YouTube channel, Aaron Hallett. And uh, I also do have a link for YouTube Topic. That's actually a link. The other ones are not links. But but if you use Amazon, type my name in Amazon search bar, Amazon Music, that is, and you'll find me. The top thing is PastorMelissaScott.com. I have that there because, like I said, this is Christian rock, so I figure I'll put a link to what I think is the best Bible teacher you're going to find anywhere. I literally say this in every one of these videos, but it's the best stuff you're going to find simply because rather than taking a whole bunch of outside denominational things, subjective opinions of others and whatever, a lot of churches have added on, and they all have... This place just goes by what the book actually says. It takes the trouble to translate from the original language is, <laughs> there's multiple, um, Hebrew, Aramaic, 
a little bit of it anyway, New Testament Greek. The thing is, too, I always say they because uh, Pastor Melissa Scott currently pastors there, but her late husband, who uh, passed away in 2005, used to teach. They still play his stuff on the website, so you can check both teaching out. It's really great stuff either way. They understand the languages. They'll deep dive into what exactly it's saying and look at a whole bunch of other factors and just be like, okay, exactly what is this text saying? Why? How does it apply? And not as far as like what we think it should say, but what does this actually say? and what were the writers intending. It's great teaching. I can't say enough about it. So if you're interested, check it out. As far as my stuff, subscribe, like, comment, share. I got loads and loads and loads of original music. I've got playlists on my YouTube channel here you can check out. And also if you follow any one of those services, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, etc., and you find me on there, I've got hundreds of original songs. So anyway, this one's done. Thanks for watching. Song's coming up right now.